Hello everyone, welcome to automation community. Today in this video, we are going to discuss an example in which we will be using two push buttons. So let's look at the example first. Push button on and off. When switch one, that is a push button, is turned on and then turned off, then output will be on. And then when switch two is turned on and then turned off, then output will be off. So here we have two push buttons, push button one and push button two. And when the first push button is pressed and released, output will turn on. And then when second push button is pressed and released, then output will be on. So for this, we will use normally open contacts and normally closed contacts. We will be also using a memory bit. And with that, we will also implement latching. So let's move to TI portal where we will draw a ladder logic for this push button exam. So this is the interface of TI portal. Firstly, I will go to PLC tags. Then default tag table. So here we have to add our inputs and outputs. So we have two inputs, switch one and switch two, or we can write push button one and we have one more input that is push button two. And then we have one output, let's say output. And the address of the output will be Q0.0 .0 as it is an output. So the address of an output will start with Q. After that, I will minimize this. And then I will go to program blocks and then main OB1. So here we will draw the ladder diagram for push button. So firstly, I will insert a normally open contact and that will be a push button. So I will target as, I will write P and select push button from the list. And after that, I will insert a coil for the output and it will be output. So, when push button is pressed, output will be on and then when push button is released, output will be off. But after releasing the push button 1, output should remain on. For that, we will latch the output. So, here I will connect output as normally open contact in parallel with push button. So, I will open the branch, insert a normally open contact and close a branch. So, this normally open contact will be out. So now when push button is pressed, output will be on and when push button is released, output will still remain on. And after that, we need to turn off the output. For that, I will use network 2. So here, I will insert a normally open contact and a coil. So this normally open contact will be push button 2. So I will select push button 2. And this coil will be used as memory bit. So I will assign the address to it as M0.0. And then I will latch it here. Or simply, we don't need to latch it. So what happens is that when push button 1 is pressed, output will turn on. And when it is released, output will remain on. And then when push button 2 is pressed, tag 1 turns on and this tag 1 will be used here as normally close contact. So this will be M0.0. .0. So when this push button is pressed and released, tag 1 gets on and this tag 1 will turn off the output. So when it is released, this, uh, this will be off and here it will be off but output will still remain off. 
After that, I will start the simulation. And after that, It's compiling the configuration and after that we need to click on load and then click on finish. And then I will start the CPU. Click on OK. And then start monitoring. And after that, I will switch to project view. Let's create a new project here. After that, I will go to simulation tables and simulation table 1. And after that, I will right click here and click load project tax. So now we are ready for the simulation. So as you can see here, when I turn on push button 1, and release. Press and release. Output turns on. As the current will flow through this and this tag 1 M0.0 .0 is used as normally close contact when in false state the current will be passed through it. As a result this output will be true. And then when I release it this output was true. And here this normally open contact gets true. As a result, the current will continuously flow through it and the output will remain on. And then when I press push button 2, so this M0.0 .0 gets true. And when here this normally close contact gets true, as a result, the current will not flow through it. As a result, this output uh, gets off. And when I release a push button to output still remains off. So when I turn on push button, that is when I press and release output gets true. And then when I press and release push button to output gets off. It was all about this example. Thank you for watching.